Good day, YouTube, and welcome to another episode of the Albino Rhino Beer Review. You have the Rhino. And, well, just the Rhino. Nobody else likes me. Anyway, we have this beer. This beer is one of the seasonals from Blue Moon. This is the Blue Moon Blackberry Tart Ale. So, on the back here, it says that the Blackberry Tart Ale was crafted with the help of our fans. Did you guys help them? I didn't help them. Did you help them? Uh, anyway, whatever. So, 5.8% alcohol by volume. Open her up. Give her a pour into the big Duvel tulip glass. That is saddening already. Okay, so, it is darker than uh, I would have expected it to be. But it's like a uh, dark ruby red color. Not exactly what I was expecting with a blackberry beer. I don't know how many of you people have actually uh, juiced blackberries. Not exactly what I was expecting. See-through. Lots of carbonation. Nice white head. Smells like blackberry jam. I mean, I can't take that away from it. It smells the way it should. It kind of smells like, um... Oh, what was that beer I had? Um, it kind of smells like Wild Black, the, uh, the Shadow Brewing Company from... It's an Anheuser-Busch company, but they do Wild Blue and Wild Red and all that stuff. It kind of smells like that. Um, fairly sweet. But natural blackberry is what it's smelling like. It doesn't smell like an extract. Cheers. It tastes just like blackberries. Um, it says blackberry tart, and it talks about a nice tart, tart end to round out the flavors. Doesn't really round out the flavors all that well. Um, the tart does taste the way I thought it was going to be. It tastes like they purposely soured it with different acids. I mean, blackberries are naturally a sour berry sourer berry than most of the berries that we normally eat. So you could have just used the berry itself and the tannins in the skin and gotten a nice tartness mixed with the sweetness. This is very sweet. It says it has a malty sweetness. I'm not getting as much a malty sweetness as a fruit sweetness. Uh, it smells like natural blackberries. It doesn't taste like natural blackberries. Like It does taste like blackberries, but it's just way too sweet. There's no tartness really to it. There's no tannin in there, there's no bitterness, there's no uh, no tartness, there's no sour, it's just, it's just blackberry. I mean, a very sweet blackberry. Nothing wrong with it. A little warming too, actually. At 5.8% alcohol, you wouldn't expect it, but it is a little bit warming. Strangely... The more you drink it, the more you get a malt flavor, but the malt flavor is coming after the berry. I mean, the background flavor is normally going to be your hop profile, but it's the malt profile really in this. It's not bad. It's just not good. It's not what I wanted. Um, I've had better blackberry beers before. Hell, um, the Moosehead Blackberry that they made a few years ago that Nick sent me from uh, Maxwell Star's Beer Reviews. That was actually better than this to me. Um, not a bad beer, but nothing special either. I, I haven't gotten any special beers tonight. I'm giving this a 6 as well. This is drinkable. And I'm giving it a 6 because it came in a 12-pack with five different Blue Moon beers, um, four, four different flavors for the season, and then the regular Blue Moon. And that 12-pack was $14.95, I believe, or $15.95 a great price for what you were getting. I mean, just over a dollar a beer. And it's not anything that's gross. I mean, big company or not, it's a drinkable beer. Try it if you want to. Don't try it if you don't want to. You're not going to miss anything. Thank you, YouTube. Bye-bye.